Hey friends, welcome back to Mariah's Mysteries and Adventures on Trail, and today we are going to be talking about a relatively older case. We are going to be talking about the disappearance of Carla Owens. Carla was last seen in Clearwater, Washington on July 1st, 1981. She had been living with her parents and two siblings. That night, she left her family's home to babysit an infant at a house about 10 miles away. The babysitting job was expected to exp extend into Independence Day weekend. Carla had left her home with the woman whose child she was supposed to watch, and they were driven in a pickup truck by a man named Kenneth Barry. This man was known as a transient logger. When the baby's mother returned home that evening, Carla was gone and the baby was asleep on the couch, evidently uncared for, for for some time. She obviously knew something was wrong and something bad had happened. Unfortunately, there were large blood strains on the living room floor and pieces of broken, blooded, splattered, all kinds of bottles were broken. But there wasn't enough blood to indicate a serious or fatal injury had occurred there. Carla had never been heard from again. When police searched Barry's pickup truck, blood stains and broken glass from a bottle were found in his pickup truck. Barry died suddenly of a heart attack in 1986. He was never charged in Carla's case, but he was considered the main subject. Although the blood found it was at the scene, Carla's apparent abduction and the blood in Barry's truck were obviously Carla's blood type. DNA testing that would have proved the blood was hers was not existent in 1981, unfortunately. In the decades since Carla's disappearance, police have lost the blood samples and of course the parents have tried to provide them. However, since she disappeared so long ago and the police records have been so, whatever you want to call it, lost, misplaced, there has been really a not much movement on this case, which is very sad because in my mind, looking at the details of this case, this woman was being driven by this guy who obviously had both her blood in his car and at the home. It doesn't really far stretch of the imagination as to what happened here as far as he obviously did something to her. We don't know what, but this was a young woman and she was just going out for a babysitting job and never returned. Her disappearance obviously reeks of foul play and it's one of those tragedies because at the time, we did have information. They found her DNA at the home. They found her DNA in this man's truck. And yet, he was never able to be charged. He died a year or two later. I can't remember the exact details, but it's just such a tragedy. Carla was only 40, 14 when she disappeared. She was 5'4", she had hazel eyes and brown hair. Just a one young woman who unfortunately got mixed up with the wrong guy. Apparently she got mixed up with this wrong guy, some guy who was just a transient logger. Not saying that for sure he did it. The evidence surely does point to that and it's just a tragedy. This case doesn't have a lot of information other than what I've already told you. However, I'm assuming what happened was that she was picked up by this transient logger. He did something to her in the apartment and then carried her out into his truck and God only knows what happened. And the whole thing is just very tragic. But I am presenting this case because while I was studying the cases up in Washington, there are so many cases up in Washington that have barely have any coverage. Yes, some of them are a lot older. Some of them have happened recently. Some of them just had no media coverage. What I'm gonna do is after I work on this first case with Shirley Bowman, 
I'm going to work on some of these other cases and present them to you because I think everybody has the same right to be reunited with their family. That's why I brought those angel coins out, so at least I can leave something so that they know someone is watching over them and that they haven't been forgotten. I will say that the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office cold case squad with the support from the National Support from the Missing and Exploited Children have produced an age-progressed photo and they do believe foul play obviously is involved. One of their members, he said, frankly, it would just be a miracle if we ever found her. He's one of the supervisors of the cold case. Our thought is not that she is living and has some life somewhere else. Our hope is that someday who maybe didn't get talked to by the police back then or heard or saw or never had spoken up might have the poster and come forward. That's a hope, and we all hope for that. I know this may sound selfish, but I wanted to talk to you about a few things that happened in some other videos. I know I made a mistake with the California bear flag. Yes, I know it's not a brown, a black bear on the flag. However, California is known for being the black bear state because there are no grizzly bears left in California. Also, I know that my voice sounds a little different, but you guys have to understand I've been through several traumas. It's just I still am dealing with some cognitive issues and I'm sorry if that bothers you. I'm working my best to heal. I'm doing my all my rehab and recovery. I don't take any of those things. I just manage through the pain. Yes, I take Advil and things like that. And I know a lot of you don't care about this, but I just wanted to talk to you, those that do. I also wanted to touch base with you all and let you know that I'm going to be investigating all these cases up in Washington and also Oregon. So if you have any cases that you'd like me to discuss or investigate, please let me know. I've been trying to reach out and comment on all of your comments. So please get in touch with me any way you can. I am happy to help in any way I can. I thank you guys for all your support, all your love and feedback. I just really couldn't do this without you and I really appreciate that. I wanna dedicate this video to Carla Carlene Owens, who was only 14 when she went missing and I can't imagine what her family has gone through and I just hope that one day they get some answers. Sending all my prayers and love to them. I want to thank you all for watching as always. We'll see you guys all in the next one. Special thank you to co.ag for providing the background music. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking with me till the end. Sorry I had to include some personal stuff but I do received a lot of comments and people were asking me questions and saying all these things so I just wanted to show a little bit about what I've been going through but that's not going to stop me from continuing to go on my searches and help with search and rescue and hopefully help bring some of these people home back to their families one way or another. As always, I appreciate all your comments and all your feedback. If you have any questions for me or if you want to get in touch with me, please leave me a comment. I'll be happy to respond and get in touch with you. And if you would like to meet, that would be great too. I will see you all in the next one. Take care. I am doing much better and I appreciate all your support. And hopefully my voice will be back to normal as soon as possible. Thank you again. I'll see you guys next time.